Yeah, so it doesn't look like I'm going to get back to this right away. Uh, I got my canopy up and I got the 55 Ford out of there and under the canopy. Now I set up the canopy last week, but uh, before I could get it staked down, a gust of wind came along and it blew it up over into the trees and that blue tarp was on there, it was brand new and it got so many holes in it that I had to take it off and uh, so I got this new one, green one and I got it from uh, Harbor Tools but I didn't want to drive all the way over there again so I uh, made it, got it through the mail order and uh, the cheapest option for shipping was uh, US Postal Service was six dollars and it would cost me 20 bucks to drive over there and back but they didn't send it postal service they sent it FedEx they only charged me 650 for the postal service which is what I opted for so I keep that in mind from now on I'm gonna just go with the post office option and uh, get it just as well anyways I got that set up got it staked down I got extra weight here on the two front corners I hung some tires from them the back corner there is tied to a dump truck, so that's not going anywhere. And this corner over here is tied to an old engine block. And so here's the truck anyway. Got to get it done, get it sold. Uh, so I figured what I should do is uh, get a gas cap for it, because now that it's outside, I don't want a bunch of bugs building nests in there. Uh, so I was trying to put the Volkswagen in the garage, which is why I took this out. Oh, by the way, when I was pushing it, I scraped the hell out of my black paint with the bumper bolts on my uh, my Dodge uh, Magnum. So uh, I got to repaint the bumper, but I got new running boards and I painted them red and I don't like the red, so I'm going to repaint those black, so I'll get to the black paint anyway. But while I was getting ready to put the Volkswagen in the garage, the battery was dead, so hooked up the battery charger to that and while it was charging I went to Napa to order a gas cap because I ordered one online that had the Ford script on it and it's been over a year now it's been back ordered so I guess I'd get a plain one from uh, Napa to have it this afternoon he said so I can keep the bugs out and I gotta get to work on my running boards and uh, also still haven't got the interior done Oh, the wiring. The wiring's kind of messy. Uh, I haven't got the right ignition switch. I've got uh, I've got a universal one with the start on it. This is supposed to be the start button here for the starter, but I'm going to have it on the key. So I think I'll probably put a horn button here and fill in that hole. And uh, what goes here? A heater switch of some sort? light switch is okay this is a hand choke which i'm gonna have to probably hook up i don't know it looks like it goes to the heater i guess it's a heat defrost thing uh the ignition switch goes there i don't know what this switch is it's two pole uh single pole double throw i think is what they call that and then i got a cigarette lighter i guess to go in here so i can light up big cigars uh i got a headliner I got a new upholstery kit, I got new door panels, I got a new seat. Uh, so I got to do the interior, I got carpets. And, uh, you know, wire it and get it running, get it all together and make some money. I don't know about these wheels and tires, so what do you think? I want to get some great big ones with, uh, you know, those O-ring tires on uh, maybe 18s or 21s. But I don't know if I can afford that, but I'll see. Anyways, while I was gone, the Catalina was parked over there. When I came back, it was gone. When I came out back and I found this out here. This is Richard's truck. And that's his 48 Mercury on the back on the trailer. And he wants to take that to the car show Sunday. And today is Thursday. So he got some body work done on the back, but it's not finished. So I don't know if he's coming back to finish the body work or if he wants me to do it. But uh, I'll see if I can find the keys and drag this up towards the garage. Uh, there were some extra holes where they had some tail lights, and we filled those and uh, put the lower pan back on it. 
and he filled some holes on this side too and looks like he was in quite a hurry when he slapped the bondo on uh so i gotta try and smooth that out i guess that seemed like the next thing to do and uh in the meantime i guess i'll keep this video short because there's no point in spending a half an hour when there's nothing to talk about nothing to do so maybe i'll get some of that uh, mercury bit footage on here well i got some of it done but uh didn't want to get too close to the tail lights i got to take off the tail lights i don't want to damage them they're made out of that rare chinesium and you can't get chinesium products anymore because of the supply chain issues huh. so got to take them off i got got to have a deep socket and i don't have one that fits so i'll have to call richard and have him bring over some sockets and see if we can't get them off it's somewhere between 5 16 and 3 8 I think. But uh, those are the only two deep sockets that I had to try. 3 8 was too big and the 5 16 was too small. I don't think there's anything in between except the metrics. So I didn't do that part there. Because I think it's got to be on the lift for me to do that. I tried sitting down there. I can't get comfortable enough to actually do any work here. So if it's on the lift, I can stand up and do it just fine. But I'm not as limber as I used to be, so it's hard for me to get up after I sit down somewhere like that on the ground. So, for now, I guess that's it. I don't have any gray primer. I'm going to have to tell them to bring over a can of that, too. So, uh, I guess I'll go give them a call. Oh, yeah, another supply chain issue is uh, the rubber uh, seal for the back window on a Volkswagen. Seems though uh, Steel Rubber Company doesn't make them, uh, so I have to get an import. All the Volkswagen places are out of them, and they don't know when they're getting more, so I may have to sell this car with no back window. Just keep the top down until the supply chain issues work themselves out. Oh, and uh, subscribe and hit the like button and all that stuff. All right, I appreciate it.